Uh, hello everybody, uh, in this video I'm going to show you uh, how you can correct eyes uh, and also other areas, but mainly eyes here in Photoshop. Uh, I'm using different uh, apps in order to correct face of AR art that I made with Midjourney and other AR generators. Uh, in Photoshop, uh, again, it's not always give me uh, the result that I want and this is why I use several tools. But if you want to use Photoshop and try it and you have Photoshop, uh, you can try it out. So basically what you do, let's take this image for example. We're going to go to filters, neural filters. All right. At the right side, uh, this is by the way Photoshop 2022. All right. Um, and they're going to go to smart portrait. All right. We're going to turn it on. Now, by default, it won't correct anything. So basically, if in order to make the correction, I need to go and choose eye direction and just change it. It doesn't matter which one, just change it. And then it's going to process the eye. You can see the processing in the cloud here and a progression, progress bar. So basically, you need to be time until it's finished processing and uh, you can see, we can actually go and zoom in a bit more. You can put the zoom in here. All right, and you can see. Now, again, it wants everything. And for some images, it might work well for you. But for some, it might work. So if you have Photoshop, this is an option. This can change the direction of the eye. All right. I can change also other things. For example, if I go uh, and change uh, happiness. Put happiness, take a look here. It changed also the nose here you see and also the skin and also the the lips basically working on the face all right and also expression but basically you see when you change things for the other areas it will actually process it now if you do you go and do okay right, let's uh, accept that And let's go closer so we can actually see the differences. Oh, all right. I'm just going to go back with history. I didn't make a copy. So you can see the differences. All right. It affects here, as you can see, this little area. All right. I'm going to try it on more so we can see. So again, this is an option. It might change things that uh, related to the image that you might not like. It happened to me uh, quite a lot. Uh, here, for example, you can see that the overlay here wasn't good. Because again, it's, when you do it on an artistic image, sometimes you can yield results that well, are not wanted. All right, But it might work for you for some images. This is another one. Right, this is something you get with Midjourney if you don't use TAS, the TASP, for example. So we're going to try it as well. So we're going to go and filter, URL filters. All right. Activate Smart Portrait. All right, first we're going to change the eye direction. Take some time, but here we go. So you can see here that it's not perfect, right? They did a pretty good job, right? By the way, keep in mind that what you can do, I'm going to show you in a moment, you can actually just uh, add your mask, just copy an area. Uh, if we're going to go with expression, let's do some, I don't know, uh, let's do with the happiness again. Uh, by the way, we can change uh, age as well. So if we go facial age, but you can see this actually affects the area, you see? So, let me just cancel it. See, it just affected the entire area. So this is not really, you know, it's not, it's not good. Unless you, you do it, and uh, what you're gonna do is just copy the area that you want, uh, the effect, and the other one you just ignore. All right, so, so let's do it again. I just change that. You can see the effect. All right, it doesn't solve this one with the nose. You see.
All right. We can go and try uh, skin smooth. We haven't tried, by the way. No. So you see, it's still a problem. All right. Now, uh, so let's see uh, uh, if we want to just maintain a certain part. We're going to duplicate the layer. All right. We're going to duplicate the layer. So we have the original layer in the other one. Uh, we're going to apply. Sorry, we're going to apply the new filters to the duplicated layer. All right. And we're going to go and do a uh, in there. Actually, we're going to do both. Does it? You're gonna restart, so just do it. Uh, all right, this is all right. Let's say that this is okay. All right, that's a bit more. Anything else? A direction. Let's try. Now, you see, it's already overriding, but let's say that I want that. All right, let's stay with that again. The, the results are not some of the other ones do better job just reconstructing the eyes and the eyebrows that's why sometimes I use the others and I just go on Photoshop and do the editing so basically let's accept that all right and uh, again this is before this is after see all the other elements are just kind of uh, screwed so what we're gonna do uh, we can go and do uh, masking we press Adler mask basically we had the mask and do control I so control I actually painted black. You can just choose the bucket and choose the black color and just paint black. Now you see it's selected. If I select this one, it's select the image. If I select this one, it's select that mask. So if I click it now, I can just color. You won't see black because it just tells it black is hiding the information uh, uh, and white is actually revealing it. All right. Of course, everything in between. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the brush, and now we're just going to paint in the area that I want to be for the duplicated image to be visible. All right. Now, I'm going to reduce the opacity so it won't be that harsh. All right. So let's say I go with 30. Actually, for the for this area, I want to use it 100%. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paint over it. All right. I can choose the brush size. Right, and then I'm going to paint, and you're going to see. Oh, sorry, with white. All right, and you see that when I'm painting, you're just going to do it for this one. I can actually choose lower opacity if I just want certain areas and all lower opacity. But again, uh, you just want to make sure that you paint in areas that you want to be affected. All right, and only those areas will be affected. So, for example, here I'm going to increase the opacity. Yeah, the cool thing about it that it's not destructive. So basically, if I uh, uh, I can I can just draw here again with black, and you can see that the eyes. I'm just gonna do it with a higher one. Go back, you see. So I can just go again, paint with white, and it's gonna override it. And of course, I can do it for everything else. So it here, all right, what I want, and this gives me great gradual control over uh, over the results. So only certain areas will be applied and others not. Regarding the nose, by the way, areas like that, uh, because our face will have kind of a symmetry, kind of, uh, we can do something like that. We can just go and copy an area, for example, like that can be for the lips or you know other areas. And uh, what I can do, I can go and just feather, modify feather so it'll be softer on the edges and. I'm going to build maybe 15 here and I can do control J and copy all right and I'll copy this one I can edit transform flip horizontal and I can actually just override it you know this area all right so all right I can play with this if I want to further adjust adjust it but Right. 
can go here and make some again there are ways to with photoshop to deal with all of that and smaller just gonna merge the two layers just this one won't this one. all right so that ways of course in photoshop do other things but this is simple with uh if you want to do it with the uh, ul filters i'm just telling you that it's not always going to be the result that you like and uh sometimes you want to try other things but again depends on the results you can try it out if it works great if it's not there are other features you can check out on my channel and see if it works for you and that's about it for this video if you have other things let me know in the comment section below i see you on the next one thanks for watching